Hey superstars, welcome back to another one of my autograph videos where I doodle a sports ball player and bug them through the mail for an autograph. But first, let's jump in the Wayback Machine and check out some mail I got a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Ooh, Four Leaf sent me a 1966 Ralph Terry card to help out with Caleb's Battle of the Decades contest. Thank you, sir. Now let's get to doodling. Mr. Terry here was a heck of a pitcher. He was only with the Indians in 1965. Before that, he was most famous for playing with the New York American League baseball team. He famously gave up the walk-off home run to Bill Mazeroski in the 1960 World Series, but more than made up for that with a career year in 1962, winning 23 games and being named the World Series MVP. He retired in 1967 and then started another career as a professional golfer. Maybe I should have drawn him golfing. And I'd have to whisper through the whole video. It would be like, here's Scott concentrating really hard on getting his face just right. He's using a Bic mechanical pencil here. Some artists like to use a regular wood pencil for their versatility, but Scott likes a mechanical pencil for this application. Now let's watch and see if he can pull this off. And then I do a little golf clap. And here's where I get into the nonsense portion of the program. Now you would think I would go on some sort of tangent about Wreck-It Ralph, which would be a lot of fun, but I wanted to talk about his blues career and the fantastic duo of Ralph Terry and Brownie McGee. I was very excited about it because I really, really like Ralph Terry and Brownie McGee. They did an album with Lightning Hopkins and one with John Lee Hooker and another very excellent album with the band Canned Heat. And then I was like, wait a minute, that's not right at all. So I started looking through my little record collection. It was John Lee Hooker that did the album with Canned Heat. What am I even thinking about? And I don't own the album they did with John Lee Hooker, and that's not the worst of it. It wasn't Ralph Terry at all. It was Sonny Terry and Brownie McGee. <sighs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I must be getting old and senile, and I assume I'm going to lose my blues card for that little faux pas. Like, I am seriously ashamed of myself right now. I'm starting to question the rest of the stories I've told in my videos. I can't be this wrong about stuff all the time, can I? And why didn't any of you tell me that I'm full of baloney? I am such a horrible, horrible person, and I'm so sorry. All right, there is Not Sunny Terry and that nice 66 tops from our boy Four Leaf. I'll mislead you some more by pretending to put this in an envelope with a letter and a cash bribe, and then I'll pretend to put this in the mailbox. It's all just a big lie. Okay, this part of the video is real, I think. Uh, let's see what we got. Nice, he signed the doodle, inscribed 62 World Series MVP, answered some questions, and signed the card very nicely. Says golf was harder than baseball. His favorite artist is Joe Beeler. He did a lot of Western Cowboys and stuff. And somebody tall and handsome would play him in the Ralph Don't Call Me Sonny Terry movie. I told him to keep the doodle, but since he signed it, I sent it to Autographs for a Cure, and somebody snatched it up already. So thank you, Nina. Thank you, Mr. Terry, and thanks for the TTM Fuel 4 Leaf. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, 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 and we will catch you later. That is, if I haven't totally betrayed all of your trust. <laughs>